If we built a spacecraft with infinite speed and traveled straight to the center of the Milky Way, we'd expect to see a supermassive black hole. But some scientists found real evidence that it might not be a black hole at all. They believe it could be a wormhole. So could the centers of galaxies form a network of connections linking different galaxies? We always thought that almost every large galaxy we observe has a supermassive black hole at its center. The Milky Way has Sagittarius A star, a black hole about 4 million times the mass of the Sun. Some galaxies host even bigger ones, like Tion 618, which is 66 billion times the Sun's mass. These black holes are surrounded by stars, gas, and dust, and their gravity holds the inner regions of galaxies together. For decades, astronomers thought of them as objects that form when matter collapses under gravity, until no force can stop it. But some physicists argue that what we call a black hole might not be a dead end. Instead, it could be something very different, a wormhole. First, we need to know what exactly a wormhole is. It is a theoretical structure predicted by Einstein's general relativity. It's a solution to the equations of space-time where two distant regions are connected through a tunnel-like shape when space-time is bent in an extreme way. To understand space-time bending, think of it like a sheet of flat paper. Draw two points far apart on the paper. These represent two distant places in the universe. If you travel across the paper in a straight line, you have to cross all the space between those points. But if you bend or fold the paper so that the two points touch, you can move directly from one point to the other without crossing the distance in between. A wormhole works like this, but instead of bending paper, it bends the four-dimensional fabric of space-time. The shortcut is not through regular space, but through the geometry of space-time itself. That's why wormholes are so interesting. They could connect places in the universe that are light years apart almost instantly. In simple terms, if you enter one side, you exit the other side, possibly light years away or even in another universe. And the best, wormholes are not science fiction concepts. They are mathematical possibilities. But making one stable enough for anything to pass through is a challenge. They would need exotic forms of matter with negative mass to stay open. This is why scientists have long doubted their existence. However, some new research suggests they may not need as much exotic matter as we thought. Now back to our galaxy's centers. Recent studies propose that supermassive black holes could be natural wormholes. Why? Because their size and mass could create conditions where space-time forms a tunnel instead of a singularity. In a normal black hole, all matter is thought to collapse into a point of infinite density, the singularity. But when physicists include quantum mechanics in the equations, the singularity might not exist. Instead, the gravitational collapse could form a bridge to another point in space-time. This is called an Einstein-Rosen bridge, or wormhole. If this is correct, the black hole at the center of our galaxy might be a gateway to another galaxy or region of space. From the outside, it would look exactly like a black hole. Light would still bend around it. But deep inside, space-time could curve back outward, forming an exit somewhere else. This is called a white hole. But how did these wormholes could be formed? Wormholes might form in the early universe. When the universe was extremely dense, quantum fluctuations could have bent space-time in extreme ways. Some regions could have collapsed into black holes while others formed tunnels. If these tunnels survived the rapid expansion of the universe, they could remain today, hidden behind the event horizons of black holes. Another theory is that when galaxies form, the mass flowing into their centers could naturally create wormhole-like structures as space-time curves under extreme gravity. Simulations show that under certain conditions, wormholes may form without requiring massive amounts of exotic matter. If this is true, wormholes could be much more common than we think, possibly sitting quietly at the hearts of most galaxies. So if we would have found one, how would traveling through one would work? Traveling through a wormhole would not be like moving through normal space. If supermassive black holes are wormholes, it would completely change our view of the universe. Galaxies might be connected through a hidden network of tunnels. The early universe could have formed structures that are still influencing galaxies today. It would also mean that space-time is far more complex than we currently understand. This theory could help solve one of physics' biggest puzzles, how to connect general relativity, which describes gravity, with quantum mechanics, which describes the smallest particles. Wormholes naturally bring these two theories together because they exist where both are important. What do you think? Could the black hole in the center of our galaxy be a wormhole? If you want to learn more about black holes in the edge of the universe, check out this video next.